Good morning, folks. We've got a number of excellent articles today on cosmology, electroquakes, and the official 2021 update on Earth's geomagnetic field. Of course, we are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun was quiet. A thumping victory for the Earth-facing solar quiet as the sunspots remain silent and begin a rapid spread with a slight decay. The active regions on the sun at the moment are making a fun little frowny face and like it's sad it wasn't able to make major flares despite all those sunspots. We do see at the incoming limb there are further signatures both north and south as all is quiet in geospace for the time being. First in cosmology, we find yet another challenge to the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. There are now hundreds of legitimate challenges begging for resolution, and one of the best resolutions is the inclusion of more magnetism, both within the system and the external field effect. Here they show, uh, maybe if you factor magnets, you don't need dark matter to explain galactic rotation curves. And capping that field, we find a challenge to the dark energy models as well. Eridana's supervoid really shouldn't be there, and amazingly, if you'll recall earlier this year, they discovered the dark energy might actually just be magnetic repulsion. Again, magnets. A double on the pre-seismic electromagnetic anomalies. Here it's the atmospheric changes before the Mexico 7-pointer in September, and we also have one on how the geomagnetic field changes before the earthquake by up to a couple weeks. FYI, this same anomaly was seen before their bigger 9-pointer in 2011 as well. We're shifting to a paper tracking cosmic rays and geomagnetic field changes. Their primary hang-up is figuring out how to filter solar-driven versus galactic-driven cosmic rays, but they also make a statement needed much more often about how Earth-shifting magnetic poles are the result of the weak spot in the Atlantic. Absolutely. It is not the core flows deep below doing that. The North Pole is heading from Canada to Russia, the South Pole left Antarctica, and is heading towards the Indian Ocean. Both poles are moving away from the South Atlantic anomaly, and magnetic force declines one over R to the third. Ergo, the South Atlantic anomaly weak spot. And as promised, folks, they gave a quick little update to the field, and there are some key points. The magnetic field continues to weaken, especially in the South Atlantic anomaly. The magnetic North Pole moved another 45 kilometers over the last year, and their big chest thump is their low model error rate, suggesting they will not need any mid-cycle updates. Of course, this is because they had to do one last time. Earth's magnetic field changed so much more than expected, they were forced to redo the world magnetic model an entire year early. This time, they built in much more variation to the field, and so, yes, they have pegged it better, but again, it required recognizing the field is less predictable than they initially imagined. Yes, folks, the bigger machines are beginning to arrive and do work on Observer Ranch. Yes, it was only the smaller ones we could get on two days' notice, which is why that's all you saw a week ago, but alas, time heals all construction delay wounds, and we're off. Folks, the Observer Ranch Founders Wall will sit right outside the new home of Observer Gatherings and Conferences. At otf.cells.com, you can get your name on the wall of the Observers at Observer Ranch. We are ending that contribution portion here at the end of the year. Time is short. We greatly appreciate your support. Still eyeing the sun. Website members, it's podcast day at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone